So this is the Wellington map. I'm hoping to get a top 10 finish. This is a very difficult map and I'm not sure where top 10 actually sits. But that's my goal. Currently I'm sitting around 400th place in the top 1% but it, there is room for improvement. is a very centralized spawn start. Pretty uh, neutral as far as whether or not it is easy or hard. It's a little too early to tell whether it's a good spawn or not. I don't do any um, shop blocking. I just let the game decide where things are going to go based on where I put everything. Just realized that I could squeeze all this in and uh, not use my first tunnel. It's usually preferable to have a slightly longer road without a tunnel and save it for when there's no option. I suppose since I've gone with a roundabout, I can uh, I can eliminate this road altogether. Save the tiles. Go this direction for now. See how it looks. Um, when this orange shop turns into a, a circle shop and has high demand, um, it might be better to take it off of the uh, shared road. But for now, it's okay. I could directly connect this yellow down here to this yellow shop, but if you do that, it'll create an intersection right at the entrance, and definitely not the way to go if it can be avoided. On this map, I'm pretty much always choosing mode away if it's an option. Uh, they, will, they will definitely save you. On other maps, a lot of times I will not choose a motorway. I'll actually choose something that gives me more tiles. I prefer to have long, straight 
uh, thoroughfares here when my uh, roads are being created. Can't always do it that way, but that's the way I prefer it. I think I'm going to do a, a comb like that. So I'm going to choose the tunnel. It'll come in handy later and right now. I am perfectly fine with the number of tiles I have. So no houses will spawn down here, but they could spawn up here. So I'm going to leave this house at this angle for now and see what else spawns up here. And then possibly I'll be tunneling through the mountain over to here. Blue is almost always my first. Um, motorway in uh, this map. Sometimes the cream will spawn in a way that you've got no option, you've got to use it there, but this time that was not the case. I would like to have a roundabout here where these uh, two colors are coming into the same road, but since they go to the same entrance, it's not as big of a deal. It's rare I can get all four of the first four orange houses spawned onto the network that actually goes to the house easily. Generally speaking, you'll have one random one that show up on the other side of the map can't even use it. But yeah, so far this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to add it here, and then I will reroute these grays through the roundabout. Things are happening quickly, so let's, uh, let's get the pause. Hmm. There we go. That's the best. The best layout is to have the long road on the back end. That way, there's no intersections created. That's what we're looking for. Intersections mean the traffic will slow down. So far we have a fairly ideal seed. I don't know if it I don't know if there are seeds really in this game or if it is uh, um, just random. I guess that's what a seed is. Alright, so I do have tunnels now. I would like to be able to get these grays over, but I'm not going to create a motorway this early for that. I think for now I'll just tie it in. Yeah, 
I'll just tie it in here. Alright, the way those grays are spawning, I'm going to pause and I'm going to reorient all of these yellows because they're relatively close. I'm going to reorient them around here, give room for more grays to spawn up here. If they do, then I will take a motorway over to the left. I'm going to go ahead and just do the motorway now. It looks like we've got these three houses are supplying the needs of a circle gray and a square gray. And then we have, we just have too, too much demand potential there. So I'm going to take my motorway here and supplement it to the north side of this, this gray shop here and hope for the best for a while. I'd like to get a roundabout right in here and add... Let's see. I think, I think that gives space to a roundabout. Maybe... right there, a nine block area. So I would call that uh, preparing for a roundabout. It, it is technically blocking, but it's blocking houses from spawning where I'm going to need infrastructure or I'm going to lose later. So. I don't think that's too bad. I just added these pinks into the network. We've got plenty of uh, pink houses. There's no easy way to get them up there. Let's see what we can do. I suppose I can just change these over to comb comb configuration here and tie them directly in. That is a left turn though. I'm going, I don't want that. So I'm going to draw this bridge back in and I'm going to take them here. I guess it's still technically a left turn but it feels less harsh. And uh, then I'm going to create a small bridge, connect them up. Oh man, I'm so dumb. All right, let's just undo all that. We didn't need to do any of that because there are two pinks right up here. Nice and prepared. Out of road tiles, though, that is not the worst. I'll take my 40 road tiles. And So I really could use some more 
some more gray to attach. I'm going to take yellow around this direction. Well, I don't think I'll lose because the there's enough gray in there to supply the demand for now. I'm going to take grays from this network and I'll leave this road connected until I can get my motorway back and I'll put my motorway back where it was. Later in the game, if you accidentally delete a motorway like that, your game's probably over. Alright, so that's connected. Again, I'm going to delete this road. I want that circle. Uh, gray shop to be serviced only by that motorway. There are seven houses attached to it, that should be plenty. There are three houses attached to this, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. Since, since I have the pinks also attached, they these grays are going up into the network and helping out elsewhere which is not really what I want them to do. I'm looking at creating this network and tying it right back in. So these grays now only go to this shop. Well, once I delete this here. So I'll take these pinks up and they will go here in the future. And uh, then they're, they're not going to go all over the place. So I think I'll take a temporary, well possibly temporary motorway. What do I have? I have three, four gray houses trying to service two buildings up here. I'm going to take my final motorway for now. I'm going to attach it as far south as I can. I might have to go all the way north. There we go. So while it's still paused, I'll delete this road. That way, when I unpause, all of these houses are going to go directly towards this shop, which is uh, just about to um, become inundated with with uh, the traffic. Deleting that road also means I can tie these blues into the same network, put them down there. Alright, so I just got a cream shop right where I don't need it. I do have 
a tunnel. I think I'm going to unpause it for now and see if I get any more cream colored shops or uh, houses spawning. There we go. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I think I can actually even connect that in. I even have enough road tiles. So I'm also going to take yellows up and around here. I have the tunnel, so I might as well use it. All right, so it's directly connected, not crossing any lines. Hopefully I get a couple more spawn right there when I can use them. How are we looking for pink? There's a lot of houses attached. I think what I'm going to do is take a couple of these that are closest to this one on the far left and attach them over there. And then I'm going to draw my um, tunnel and attach closer to this one up here. So I did in fact get a second and a third cream colored house attached. Of course I got an unlucky one. Not the end of the world. So I have five cream colored houses immediately attached to the new one. Only four attached to the one that just upgraded. Um, I don't have any more. Well, I could get one spawn right there, but that's about it. Moving this pink road over just a hair gives me room for a second. I could get two cream colored houses spawn right there in the ideal location. We'll see if that actually happens. If you don't create space for them, they will not spawn where you want them for sure. So, no, I did get one. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get that one attached. At least not without crossing traffic, which I don't I don't think I'll do that unless I'm really hurting with demand. Alright, so I have a bridge, I'll take the tunnel. And I'm getting, getting cream colored houses randomly spawning. Uh, that's my cue to slow down to two times speed rather than three times speed. So uh, that, that pink road that I moved here in the middle I got two cream colored houses that spawned. Those are the ideal houses to get there, which is very nice. Also very nice is the uh, fact that I got a blue house spawn in this shop rather than pretty much any other color. You don't have room for much else to spawn there. Actually, I think I'm going to pause, disconnect this from the system. Hopefully, the demand is low enough that I can get away with this, but I'm going to move uh, 
highway number two to the south side and hook these blues in on the north side that will prioritize these up here that aren't really being used and free up the ones down on the south to go over all the way to the other side of the map all right i need to find some pink houses that are not being used yeah. There's a lot of them available, but they're not being used, and they're already attached to the network that I'm looking to improve. I don't know if technically this cream attaches to that system or not. It doesn't really make a difference because there are no creams on that. Once you get up to the 2000 point run, like I am right now, on this level, you're doing pretty well. I think um, at this point you should definitely not be moving your, your motorways around. They're pretty much where they should be. If you move them around now, you are likely to lose just because you have to wait for the the redraw so take it take it easy on that just need to look for ways to improve I think I could take these yellows and tunnel them over here. There's still room for a row of spawns down here. They won't necessarily do that, but they could. I would like to see a way to get some more pinks into the north side of this shop here. There's one pink. I guess I could take the second one as well. Ooh, a motorway. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. What I can do is take a motorway down here where none of these pinks have any cars out of the house. And, and I can get it up here, hopefully. Let's see, I can't actually get it there. I could possibly get it from here. No, not even from there. I would really like to be able to motor away some pinks up here.
I suppose I could just get it as close as possible, something like maybe this. I don't know if it'll help or if it's going to hurt traffic though. I suppose that stands to be seen here. It should take pink off of the main road up until up to a point. I wonder if I can do this. All right, so I created this motorway for pink. I should not change it since it's been used. And then I created a bypass here. So this will send all of the gray traffic going to this shop up this way on the bypass. I'm going to eliminate this tunnel. It wasn't being used anyway, but now it can't be used. So that bypass is direct. And hopefully that will improve that traffic dramatically. And traffic to those blues up there is pretty rough. I don't think there's much I can do to improve it. I don't know if all of them going directly in there like that is better or worse. definitely a pinch point. If I could get a second motorway, I would draw it up to this blue specifically. Actually, I could use these blues up on the north side. If I don't lose first. this. So now I will get these blues direct I do have another tunnel, so I could take, I don't know, We're just getting to that point where the demand is going to exceed the capacity and things just might not work after that. I got another motorway. It's surprising. Um, let's see what we can do here. What is hurting the most? We've got orange, this gray, that gray should be fine, this gray, that gray should also be fine, 
we got the cream colored ones up there I think the cream colored ones are the worst although we do only have four orange attached there I'm going to take the blue over to here Now I've attached three orange together and I'm going to motor wave them. I think I'll motor wave them directly. I don't usually like to do that, but it looks like the bottleneck is on the way out of the um, on the way out of the roundabout and this traffic is all going to turn right. So I think it should be okay. Yeah, at some point you just can't improve anymore and you're at the mercy of the game. So where do I have extra yellow houses? I think up here is the only place that actually has extra. I do have a bridge, watch this. I don't think I've ever legitimately used that that very corner of the map. Oh, it's behind my face. I shut off the webcam real quick. So this is the bottom. See that? There's only one square available in the very bottom. That is as low down as you can get. But that ties these yellows in over here to this one. I think that's about as efficient as I'm going to get. Um, I suppose I could tie in these extra, maybe just that one and this extra gray. Because technically they are attached to a gray network now. So. Why not use them? If I get one more bridge, I could tie this green colored one in with a bridge. I don't know that it will help, but once you get to this point, there isn't a whole lot you can do other than just hope the demand does not exceed what you can uh, work with here. I have a feeling these cream right here are going to be the downfall of this round. These blues were not being used anyway, so I moved them. Hopefully that speeds up traffic just enough that I don't lose here. If I get another... No, I don't have any room. Oh, there's the game. 39.45. Not quite my high, but still a pretty good round. So we lost with yellow, and it makes sense. Yellow was sharing with blue up here, so we had cross traffic getting slowed down a little bit. 
I actually could have attached some of these yellows in and they would have got, made their way around. But all in all, not too bad of a round. So the quest continues for top 10 global for Wellington. I will keep at it, but this is a pretty good attempt. And I hope you can adapt something that I did into your own play strategy. And if you watch this whole thing, I am impressed.